the update has been downloaded to install it, to tap install, which is the button at the bottom, but you have to accept the agreement first. Notice during installation you cannot use your device at all, even for the emergency calls icons on the home screen, and device settings may revert to default and may need to be reconfigured after installation. After installation your data will be preserved, but if you stop the installation incorrectly by removing the battery, your device may not work normally. To avoid unexpected data loss, we recommend that you back up important data before installation. Now that's very important. Please be sure to update the Samsung gear to the latest version. So basically you need to read that uh, more on that. Um, I'll see if I can get these details and post them on the page or underneath the video. So I'm going to click install. I can schedule this software update for well it's about now so I'm going to just go OK and it's ready to start there's some more information there a software update has been downloaded your device will restart and it's counting down the seconds to be to begin and then it's going to update the versions there Fingerprints, securely protected, alternative unlock method pattern, blah blah blah. So that's um, they're carrying on with the pass fingerprint password in. Okay, now let me start it for me. And I have got this plugged into the power whilst I do it, just so that I've got um, full ability on the power mode side. It's not going to go flat. It may actually help it be faster because it's helping to supply a full power supply. It shouldn't necessarily be a problem, but um, in, the, in the case that there might be um, more sustained power whilst being plugged in, then take advantage of it. Depending on your phone it will be different. This Samson has got an octa-core processor running at So generally you've got to be a bit patient with these updates. It's up optimizing, so it seems to be on a final stage. This is um this seems to be quite quick for a full OS update. So I mean this is basically Lollipop. Now it's going to be the latest marshmallow. Okay, this has taken probably about 20 minutes, so it's a bit longer this uh, optimizing. This might vary on the amount of apps you got, so there's 53 there. Let me know below if you had more or less. Okay, the light has come on at the top. So basically that was actually 
black screen was how it's supposed to be. Um, it, it was actually kind of on and off without me knowing. Google Play services, okay, contents are hidden until I unlock the screen. I've got to put my pin code in, so... Right, that's probably my computer it's not recognising. Might be worth me unplugging that now because uh, we've done the main update. Okay, so there you go. It says the software update has been... The device has been updated. Well, I've unplugged it now, but um, the computer, so that's not a major problem. Failed to download attachment. Don't know what that's about. Um, I think I've got to re-log on to my Wi-Fi. So about running an update. So no, it seems to have um, kept connected to my Wi-Fi, remembering the password. Okay, it's now confirming which SIM card service I use. And I'm connected to Wi-Fi and it's updating there. Um, it's having a bit of problems. I mean, it's trying to download. Yeah, it did download. It's just one of them things, isn't it? It sort of pauses and then shoots along. So it's updating the Google Play services, which is quite standard. And that's installing. The base is just more compatible um, with the Marshmallow. You can come back out of that screen and it still updates in the background. Uh, we've got a light screen at the top there. Whether that will change when um, I re-put my theme back on. I had a gold theme. So that may all change back. Uh, that's still there. But basically it's left my desktop screen the same as it was before um, it's updated the beam thing connect to devices so there you go that's uh, now so it's a bit more colorful it's got the blue sort of um, main hints to it the main blue shades uh, there we go we go down to about device Uh, we've got download updates manually and then automatically so it's a bit more clearer than check now so if I go into manually it does say the date there that's today's date if I go into uh, software info there we go we've got 6.01 and then if we double click that we get the little animation I'm not sure what that's supposed to be but you tap it and it grows into a marshmallow um, and some marshmallow game yeah that's its little egg in there oh no I've jumped too much so this is like the um, infamous game of uh, birds Flappy birds. Okay, I hope this has helped and please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.